Hey guys, what is going on? It's Avatar Evan here, and welcome to a special video for you guys. This is gonna, this video is going to be commemorating my 10k video views I've achieved on my YouTube Avatar Evan COD. And I just want to thank you guys a lot for all the help you guys have given me. I really do appreciate all of it, and pretty much this is going to be my gaming setup video for you guys. Um, yeah, thanks for all the support again. Um, 40 days approximately I've been on YouTube, and I've managed to achieve 10,000 video views. That is phenomenal, and it's all thanks to you guys. So here's a gaming setup that I have in my house. Um, this is going to be in my basement. And uh, yeah, it's pretty damn nice in my opinion. But let me let you guys uh, know what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to hear it. But let's kind of get into the video here. So here is my gaming setup. Uh, let's get a little bit of a nicer view over here. But I'm going to be mainly navigating this with my left hand because, to be honest, when I put uh, when I use my right hand, my finger always gets in the way of the camera. But yeah, so here is my gaming setup. We got dual monitors here, then my uh, Xbox setup here. And I'm gonna be getting a little bit in depth into all all of these uh, things as well for the for you guys. So right here we got 21-inch uh, Acer monitors. They're both hooked up to the same computer right there. Computer is not really too good. It's got a good processor, but there's some other stuff I'm gonna be upgrading pretty soon, such as like the RAM. Uh, PSU stuff like that. You know, I'm gonna be upgrading graphics card, everything really in the computer, including the case. I'm gonna be upgrading. It's gonna become a really, really cool um, computer. Um, right here we have the Logitech G510 keyboard. I would definitely suggest this keyboard to anybody who games on the PC. I don't game on the PC myself, but this is a very nice keyboard. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of a how the keys sound. It's a pretty nice keyboard here. The G keys, if you guys don't know what those are. Pretty much keys you uh, bind to any other key on the keyboard are uh, very useful if you guys like playing like World of Warcraft or Diablo or stuff like that where you use um, key keystrokes very often and really any kind of multiplayer uh, game on the PC. I don't really use all the features on this keyboard, but I do love the keyboard for what it is itself. It's pretty uh, awesome. It's about a hundred bucks if you guys are interested in buying this, but I will have all the equipment I have linked down below for you guys to look at. Um, but yeah, these are dual Acer 21 inch monitors. I already said that. And uh, we got the default Acer mouse, pretty basic mouse. Um, yeah, not too much to go on about that. It's it came with the uh, build I had, and it does just fine for what I need it for. If I ever do playing gaming on the PC, I'll probably upgrade to a much better mouse. This is uh, the headset I use, believe it or not, to um, uh, on the PC when I'm watching YouTube videos or doing whatever I am doing on the uh, computer. Uh, I just use that right there, and that is you know, just a lot basic Logitech headset. It has a mic. Mic's very weak, so I don't ever use that mic. But um, yeah, that's what I use to listen to audio. I actually don't have speakers, if you guys can't tell. I actually don't have any speakers on the back of my desk. Um, and if I do plan on getting speakers, which I have in the past, I've planned on ordering them, but I really don't know where I put them. I could put one right here, but at the same time, where would the other one go? I'd have to, you know, put it in the back, which would kind of be secluded to the rest. But I'll have to find out then. This is the microphone I use to record all my commentaries on. Um, yeah, this is the uh, Blue Snowball. It's about 50 bucks. It's a really good quality mic for the price. Um, a lot of YouTubers do use this mic. I would definitely suggest it to anybody who wants to get into YouTube. It's a really nice mic. And if you really want to even go higher, you can get like stuff like the Blue Yeti and so on for a much more professional quality. Uh, but this one works very fine for anybody that's on any kind of a budget. And right here is definitely uh, my favorite addition to the gaming setup. It's not that old that I got it uh, in December. And it is the BenQ 24-inch uh, monitor. It's the official MLG um, monitor. Well, the official monitor for MLG, I should say. It's uh, really good quality. It's one millisecond response time. It, it's very good, guys. Trust me. I used to play on uh, this TV right over here. It's a 42-inch uh, flat-screen TV. And this has... I can't, I don't even know, I couldn't even imagine what the uh, response time on this is, but I now play on this right here, and this it looks so much better. The graphics are much more enhanced, and your accuracy will be much better if you do play on a, a much larger monitor, which is what I used to play on. All right, here we have my webcam. This is the uh, Logitech Life Cam. It's 1080p and whatnot, but um, yeah, if you it's a pretty good uh, it's a pretty good webcam. But if you guys are interested in getting a um, a really good quality. Um, Really good quality um, camera. I would definitely or webcam. I mean, I would definitely suggest that you guys do um, get a little bit better one. That one works perfect, uh, perfect for anybody who wants to do some kind of face cam or stuff like that. It does work pretty good for the price. 
Um, right here we got my Xbox One, my lovely, lovely Xbox One. Um, right here is the Kinect, if you guys don't know, you pretty much need it, you don't need the Kinect, but it's very uh, useful to operate the, or navigate around the Xbox One. Right here we got my cup, um, you know, Xbox One right there. And the Elgato that I used to record, let's get it right there, there we go. Uh, Elgato I used to record all my crap, and down low we have some wires, um, really nothing to look there. Here's another PC that my dad's, if you guys have any questions on that. Yeah, it's not mine, uh, it's just used to store stuff on, and I also do use it as a, uh, a power supply for some of my charging uh, stuff, like my phone and my iPod, I charge off that. Um, here we have a printer, uh, don't use that too often, then we got my router and modem. Um, I love having my router down here, it's perfect, um, because I can set up an Ethernet to my, uh, my uh, excuse me, Xbox One and uh, PC, it's really nice and you know, I can set up as really as many Ethernets as I want to hook up to whatever I want. And uh, we've got some games here. Let's go through all the games I do have. Believe it or not, they're all Call of Duty. I got COD Ghost, then we got COD Black Ops 2, COD 4, COD Black Ops 1. The blank case there is going to be MW2, and then we also have MW3 uh, right below that. Uh, those are actually all the games I actually do own. I will be getting Titanfall pretty soon, as you guys know. Really looking forward to that game, and I also might get some other games like Destiny and uh, maybe even Battlefield 4 if I feel like it. And I'll occasionally post some videos like that uh, for you guys. And then right here we got the default Xbox One headset. It's actually really good quality chat, believe it or not. It is really good quality, so uh, if you guys are the kind of people that don't even bother buying a headset for the Xbox, this is actually pretty nice uh, for chat uh, quality wise. But again, I, to anybody, I would always suggest that you get a headset because it's pretty much necessary. Uh, in multiplayer. Um, right here we got a VGA to HDMI cable. Um, I originally bought this because I did plan on hooking up my Xbox to one of my, my second monitor right there, but I actually decided not to do that and just buy a whole new monitor itself and it was definitely worth it. I would definitely suggest you do uh, get a nice professional monitor uh, for your gaming. This is uh, another Xbox One controller. It's the second one. I haven't really used this at all, but um, I'm, I think I might try to sell this to one of my friends or something. Because some of my friends are going to be getting the Xbox One pretty soon. Um, and I really don't need this one. And I'm going to try getting a scuff. I'm going to be getting a scuff controller right when they're released for the Xbox One. And I don't believe you're actually going to be able to send in controllers, which I originally thought you'd be able to do. But I don't believe you're going to be able to send in controllers for that. So that's something I need to take into account now. And at the same time, I also am going to want one of those Titanfall Xbox One controllers. Because those look extremely nice. If you guys haven't seen those, look those up. They look really nice. Uh, but I'm gonna I might not be able to get the best of both worlds here I'm gonna either have, either have Titanfall or Scuff and Scuff is always gonna override Titanfall uh, Right here we got Roku uh, if you guys don't know what this is it's basically for displaying Hulu uh, Netflix uh, Popcorn flicks all those kinds of uh, video share not video sharing but movie sharing uh, services um, You can hook that right up to your TV. It's hooked up to this uh, bad boy right here don't really use this TV much though and below that we have a DVD player and a subwoofer, which actually hooks up to a nice uh, surround sound that uh, my dad hooked up all the way around here. And it's pretty uh, nice. Uh, I tried it out recently when some of my friends came over. Uh, we played on this TV as well, since I don't have it hooked up to this one, because I have a headset. And uh, yeah, so it, it, it's really nice quality. And that's really all. I guess I'll go over my headset to finish off this. We got the uh, Turtle Beach XP 400. I might get my Astro. I might get some Astros in the future. The uh, A40s or A50s. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, these work pretty good. Um, I would definitely uh, suggest if anybody's looking into buying a nice headset, you go with the A40s. Uh, my suggestion, if you're going to get a headset, is definitely to get either um, a cheap $100 headset or you go with a nice. Uh, A40 headset. This is really, in my opinion, those are the only two options you can go with. I really wouldn't go with anything in between like the one I chose uh, back in the day. But this is my gaming setup, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And again, thank you ever so much for 1,000, uh, 10,000 video views. I really do appreciate it. And it's something that really keeps me motivated to continuing on in YouTube. And I do plan on being here for the years to come. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. And I'll catch all of you later.